Hey everybody, welcome to Passion Pursuits. We're at the Art Square Cafe and Gallery in downtown Toronto. I'm Shivani Sharma, this is Simon Brenbutt, and today we have with us Carolyn Van. Carolyn is a whole lot of things wrapped up in one. She is a community builder, a strategist, a marketing person, a digital <laughs> thinker. And she started her own um, ventures called Venus Ventures, Third Ocean, uh, which is an ad agency, and Driven Accelerator, uh, which is, is it a profit organization? It's a non-profit. Non-profit. Yeah. Okay. Right. So tell us a little bit about yourself and the three um, cool things you're doing right now. Sure. So thanks for the introduction. I know it was a mouthful because oh, yes, I do wear a lot of hats and I am involved in a ton of things. Um, but as mentioned, uh, my name is Carolyn Venn. Um, currently, Third Ocean is a social media marketing communications agency, and I co-founded it with my partner, Karim Kanji. Um, that takes most of my time. Um, outside of that, I'm also a director and educator for Driven Accelerator, which is an accelerator for tech startups uh, based in Toronto. Um, I'm also an advisor for Sheridan College's advertising and business program there, uh, where my job comprises of ensuring that the next generation of me, of us, um, are readily equipped with the knowledge and skills uh, to be prepared for the future. Um, other than that, I'm also currently um, co-creating two exciting projects that I have underway. One is Venus Ventures which is uh, designed to really promote and um, foster women-led ventures in STEM, as well as another project called Cardboard and, Cardboard and Ideas, uh, where we're actually creating um, tools and kits to help um, designers uh, work through their conceptual phase. Um, and we're actually focusing right now on video game designers. Ooh. Wow. So, uh, well, that's new on the list. Yeah. <laughs> the, we don't the, have that here. You don't have that there. I know. It's, it's very recent. Okay. Um, but those last two ones, uh, we're, we're in very early stages. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm working with some really, really great people. And uh, I like to, I sound, it's, it's a blast. Yeah, and, it sounds um, like a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's I'm going to ask one thing. What is STEM? STEM is an acronym uh, for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Oh wow, it's I mean, everything that I have never had any. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now I feel sort of uh, inadequate. Thank you. You should join our programs. I will. <laughs> you know, you're working with a lot of different people, a lot of different teams. How do you how do you manage to find the balance of you know everybody is working towards your vision? Right. You know, and obviously part of that is communications. But then, what, how do you find those people that are that see the same level of kind of see eye to eye? Yeah, exactly. So I think that um, a mistake that a lot of people tend to fall into is that they don't communicate what their vision or interests right. are, right? Um, no one's a mind reader. <laughs> so the first step is to really clearly, and this goes back to the communication thing, clearly communicate your vision, your interests, um, and this applies to everything. This applies to um, working with your, your team within your organization, or maybe you know, you're looking to get into, say, game design. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to find people in game in game design, mm -hmm. right? The first thing you have to do is let the world know that you're interested in that specific game. Right. Yeah. Right? So first, communicate um, what your vision, what your interests are, mm -hmm. um, and get out there. Mm -hmm. um, I can't stress that enough. That um, no matter how amazing, how awesome, how intelligent you are, how incredible your vision is, your, people aren't going to magically follow along or they're not going to magically find you. You're not going to be discovered. Yeah. Um, and I tell that to many people. Again, no matter how amazing you are, you, no one's just going to stumble upon you mm -hmm. and discover you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, you have to put yourself out there and ensure that you are being found by the right people. Mm -hmm. um, I practice what I preach, so I use, I'm very active on social media. and, I've, right. and I've, I was just going to ask you, yeah. what do you do, you know, in your case, because you're very interested in the whole tech world. Yeah. What do you do, you know, give some of your examples that you're doing you know, to be involved in that world and to bring exposure to yourself. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, started, I started really integrating um, social media with clients uh, very early on. And I'm talking when Facebook was at its year one, where there wasn't any share buttons, there were, weren't even fan pages yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that being said, um, most people learn to use social media for, from a personal standpoint, right. and then 
businesses. Yeah. Second, I actually learned the flip way around. So I actually learned how to work with, how to utilize uh, digital communications with brands and then applied it to my personal goals. Right. Um, now, I use a bunch of social media networks, but I use it for everything from, you know, if I want to meet a specific investor working on a specific portfolio, um, I'll use LinkedIn and Twitter heavily, right? I'll use it for research, connecting with people, um, crowdsourcing ideas. Um, I essentially turn to my social networks before I turn to Google. <laughs> in a way, right? Because I, I already know the context behind a lot of the information that's coming yeah. to me from using my social networks. Um, these people that are connecting with me on these social networks know me well, so if I'm looking to meet with someone, mm -hmm. you know, Jill, who also worked with me two jobs ago, can recommend someone, and there's going to be more merit in her recommendation than just the Google. Googling, right? Yeah. right? right. Um, so I, I really use it for every form of communication. Mm -hmm. Every form of communication. Do you yes. have a favorite? Um, right now, I'd say the most effective for me would be Twitter. Mm -hmm. And that's because I am looking to meet, to connect with specific people, specific people. Okay. And Twitter is really good for, literally, it's like the digital version of being, hey, let's go for coffee. What, right. You know, this, that specific person, yes. right? Tapping someone on the shoulder and saying, hey, let's go for coffee, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's good for that one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Yeah. Um, so Twitter has been very useful for me. That's great. Yeah. So uh, how was it? So I believe you got your first client by Twitter, or how did you get your first client? First <laughs> Speaking client, of, first client with my current role, or ever? Or, or uh, with Third uh, Third Ocean. With Third Ocean. Yes. Third Ocean's first clients actually, um, and I talk a lot about personal branding mm -hmm. to other people as well, and there's a reason for this, and this is one of the reasons. So even before we even knew what Third Ocean was, right. um, people had heard through me communicating that I was partnering with my co-founder, that we were brewing something, and uh, we actually had um, Microsoft come to us and say, hey, I don't know what you guys are up to, but if you guys are working together, we want to be involved. What? Right? So we didn't even have, we didn't even know, we didn't have a website, we didn't even, I don't even think we had a name yet. I want our your company. Life. Our company. But that's, <laughs> but, that's, but that's because I'm always investing in my personal brand. Remember that five years from now, while I may no longer be with Third Ocean, Venus Ventures, any of this, what is going to stick with me is Carolyn Bain. Is yeah. Carolyn Bain, right? For sure. right? Yeah. Sure. So while you are, you should be investing in um, representing yourself within the organization organizations that you're with. Mm -hmm. you should always maintain your own brand. your personal brand. Yeah. That's never gonna leave you. So what right. are some of the ways in which you, you 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 know you maintain your personal brand? What do you do? What's your personal brand? So I I maintain a pretty sexy looking website. <laughs> website is for carolynbain.com. Well, yeah. You should check right. it out. Um, I put a lot of work and effort into that um, because it's it's essentially you know if if people know that I'm working on six different things, um, they need to know that. they need to know who yeah. I am. People do business and work with people that they like. Yeah. Again, if you want to if you want to meet a social media marketing agency, guess what? There are crap ton out there, mm. right? But you'll work with me because you know me as a person, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, website, um, ensuring that testimonials and everyone who's had raving reviews on you is on there, mm -hmm. right. okay? Because it's not a matter of just like letting people know that you exist. It's a lot letting people know why they should know you exist and why they should work with you, right? Mm -hmm. right? That's awesome. Um, so, you know, a very quick tip I'd say is list out your strengths <clears throat> and seek people that you've worked with in the past that can speak to each of those strengths. So, and I always aim for at least two phenomenal testimonials or reviews um, that highlight each of my strengths. Okay? Mm -hmm. so. so, do you have any advice for our young passioneers who want to follow in your footsteps and open lots of ventures? Open, start, lots of ventures? I have tons. <laughs> So we can book a coffee, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you I'll give you a couple. Uh -huh. So one is um, to just do. Okay, I get I get the question a lot. You know, Carolyn, how do I become an entrepreneur, or how do I get into this mm -hmm. area, right? And the best way to be is to just do. Mm. Okay, you're not going to get anywhere if you're just going to talk about it all day. Um, you're not going to get anywhere reading a bunch of articles and going to a bunch of workshops. Um, there's a point where you have to take all your learning and just do, and you're never going to be 100% prepared, so don't wait for that point, otherwise you're never going to move, 
Agreed. Okay? So just do. That's one. And my second is to not be scared of screwing up because you're going to. That's one thing I can guarantee. I can't right. guarantee anything else that's going to happen in your future, but I'm going to guarantee that you're going to screw up. <laughs> okay? Um, so I think that people need to know that that's going to happen. Um, it's fine. And that it's fine, yeah. right? And if you if you hold yourself back because you're scared of failing, you're never going to get anywhere. Mm. Um, so, you know, do. <laughs> um, don't be scared of failing because you will. And really, when it comes to failing, it's completely up to you whether you want to learn from it or not. There are people out there that have that have so many mistakes that they've had in their lives, and they decided not to learn from them. And mm -hmm. it's totally your call whether to learn from them or not. Um, you will learn much more from failures, um, getting bruised up and falling, and then picking yourself up, than um, you know, than some of your than, than your successes. Right. So um, really take those two pieces of advice to heart. Mm -hmm. They they sound like really small ones, but they, I think they're really key key uh, pieces of advice that I would offer to almost anyone. Yeah, so I think that um, one of the big things that have helped me is that um, you have to make sure, you kind of have to claim your role within mm -hmm. the organization, right? You kind of have, in a way you have to be aware of a lot of these like gender stereotypes and be aware that, you know, you know, how people are treating you. Um, but at, at some point, you kind of have to ignore it in a way and say, you know what, I'm not a woman. I'm just a really freaking great operations right. operations manager, right? Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's what I am. <laughs> Don't talk about the fact that I'm a woman and you're a man. Right. I'm just really, I'm really awesome and really talented. So um, put yourself, Put yourself in situations where you are making decisions. Mm -hmm. Insist on sitting at the table. Insist on being there when high-level decisions are being made. Don't question yourself. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. You have to keep telling yourself. And I and I and you know I'm not saying it. I'm, I'm an expert at this. Um, but whenever I'm facing a situation where there's some fear or doubt swimming around in me, um, I stop and I remind myself that I know that I'm incredibly intelligent. I know that. Mm -hmm. And two, that. I've always managed to be able to make things work and get things done. Mm -hmm. So just remembering those two points right. just alleviates a lot of stress off of me and gets rid of that doubt and fear. Mm -hmm. um, make it happen. Yeah, just make it happen. That's All right, great. excellent. So on that very inspiring note, we are going to move right into our rapid fire round. Uh -oh. Yes. So Not that I don't think it'd be. A <laughs> How rapid is this one? gonna be? <laughs> So I'm not sure if you know what that is exactly, but it's basically a set of questions okay. that we came up with. Okay. Um, and you basically have two to three seconds All to right. come up with an answer. All right. And if you okay. fail, something terrible is about to befall you. <laughs> you ready? You're, I'm ready. Take away your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, about yourself, night owl or early bird? Both. <laughs> chief executive officer or chief creative officer? Both. <laughs> I, I veto all both answers. Uh, both. Favorite book? Wow. Is that the name of a book? I don't. Uh, current favorite book? Yes. How to Create a Mind by Ray Kurzweil. Hey, working out how many times a week? To to stay fit. I mean, you know, yeah. being an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, four to six hours a week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, investor or or innovator? Am I an investor or innovator? Yeah. Both? No! <laughs> Pick one! Pick one! <laughs> adventurous or risk covered? Very adventurous. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was your last adventure? Um, I have adventures every day. I, put, I make myself uncomfortable every day. <laughs> which okay. is an adventure to me. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, complete the following sentence. Relationships are? All about an exchange of value. Nice. Leader or entrepreneur? Leader. Just <laughs> say both this time. I said one. I said one. I know. <laughs> Good job. One thing you can't live without. Take Coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Is true. it because of the Asian background or? No, I just I just love anything coconut. I, I, I think I drink more I think I drink more coconut water than natural water. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm, I'm living I'm living in the wrong city. I'm in Toronto. I know. Okay. Right. Let's what, go on a vacation. Yeah. What TV personality would you want to be? <laughs> it's gonna be a really boring answer because I don't watch TV. Oh no, 
I'm on a TV watcher. Same here. That's how I can get a lot of work done. How do I know other people? <laughs> this, is how, this is how I can get, you know, fulfill all of my roles. I know, right? <laughs> now I know why I don't no get any No television at home, guys. No television. <laughs> Your fashion statement. Cla uh, classy or casual? Classy. Uh, last good movie yourself? Um... So long. She's got all the entrepreneurship answers and she doesn't have any Personal answers. answers. <laughs> I know. Personal answer is coconut. <laughs> I actually haven't seen a movie in a very, I can't remember the last one. Not movie. even a movie? Well, I watch movies. Okay, now no television show for me, but movies here. Okay. Listen, <laughs> okay. my TV yes. comprises of Netflix. Oh, okay. And I, I, don't watch, I don't watch TV. So current, current TV show? We'll change that to current TV show? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Suits. Okay. Oh, suits is great. <laughs> suits is great. Your favorite venture of the current three ones? Aw, don't make me pick favorites. Do it. Do it. It's, about the it's probably it's probably going to be this may cause some controversy. Yes. That's what we want. It's all it's what we want. It's probably <laughs> it's probably going to be a cardboard and ideas because for the first time I'm getting into actual product. Right. Um, which is new to me. So Good yeah. answer. Well done. Okay. If you woke up as a dragon, I hope you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who would it be? <laughs> Although I'd, I'd love to be able to live a day as an actual dragon one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we all want to, to uh, be one yeah. of the dragons, but who would it be? Um, I don't know if this is going to surprise you, but it's probably Arlene. Yeah. Um, because she doesn't really say, she doesn't really yip yap so much, but she's very just direct. She's an observer, and then she'll say it, she'll say her word, and then that's it. That's awesome. Yeah. She doesn't rant. She doesn't waste anyone's time. <laughs> In your free time, you would like to? Um, I would love to go on more outdoor adventures. So I'd love to hike. And again, not living in the right city for that, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely an outdoorsy person at heart. Right. Awesome. Your pet peeve? Pet peeve. <laughs> drama. Drama. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary drama. I hear you. Yeah. One thing you could change about the world. One, cha one thing I would change about the world and just human beings in mm -hmm. general is I think that we all need to learn to be um, better critical thinkers. Okay. Um, I feel like we don't ask why enough. Um, and no curiosity enough. Yeah, I think it's curiosity. I think it's curiosity, but curiosity to me is very different than thinking very critically. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Question everything, okay? Just because something exists out there, don't take it for what it is. Question it. Question mm -hmm. the hell out of it. So critical thinking, and I would say um, the ability to be more, have more strategic foresight. Uh, you as a business owner or mentor? You know my answer. It's both, <laughs> both. because I am both. <laughs> Your favorite brand? Um, myself. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that myself. for some reason. A uh, female role model in today's world? My mom. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think you did uh, give us pretty good answers. So yeah, it wasn't some bad. Good. Both, uh, all the points hey, both, all the both, both, both were truthful. Both were very accurate. Uh -huh. so. Good. Well, at least you had an answer. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what? We're not yeah. taking away your tea, but for next time, <laughs> you better be prepared. <laughs> That's great. So, you know, thank you again very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Uh, and, you know, taking some time off your very busy schedule. Yeah, yeah. And including us as part of your schedule. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. And yeah, we really such enjoyed. It was an informative interview. We didn't even see the time go by. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, thank you very much for watching us. Uh, we're going to bring you again uh, next time more passion years. Stay motivated.